Hey guys, Dane Potter with another great video from Go Engineer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a path mate in SOLIDWORKS. Here we have a path and a part that we're going to mate to the path. So what we need to do is select mate, advanced mates, path mate, and it's asking us a component vertex. So what point is going to follow this path? Here we are going to select the point in the center of our part. In the path selection, since we have more than one entity, we need to select the selection manager. We want open loop. Hit OK. And that's going to constrain itself to the path. Within the path main, we have a few selections here that we need to be aware of. One is the path constraint. We can say percentage along the path, so it's going to apply itself somewhere along that line based upon percentage or a distance. But we want it to run free, so we are going to apply free here. Yaw is a rotation on an axis along with roll. So you can, in essence, apply the path mate with a roll along the X and Y axis or constrain them as such. So here for the roll, we're going to say up vector. We can apply a line that we want it to apply to and then say along an axis of the part. Hit the green check. Our part is going to stay along the axis but be able to roll around on its y axis but the x axis is constant along the path. To change that we just need to go back into path, edit the mate, so we want the yaw to follow a path as well. And we can decide which axis. So with the yaw and the roll selected, it stays in relationship to the path as we move our part. That is PathMate. Thank you for watching this quick tip from GoEngineer.